Welcome back, dear viewers. And you know something? We've got a lot to discuss this weekend, but sometimes we need to know a little bit of things on the medical side. With us here in the Good Morning Kuwait, uh, nurse Ms. Khuloud al wahsh the Director of Nursing, as well as Quality Assurance, and she will share with us the best way of healthcare, which serves the needs and requirements of people with illness. You know, sometimes when we are laying in bed or our loved ones, they got pressure ulcers, sometimes known as bed sores or pressure sores, are an injury that affects areas of the skin and underlying tissues. So how do you treat pressure ulcers and what are the four stages of pressure ulcers? As we know, stage one, the area looks red and feels warm to the touch. Stage two, the area looks more damaged and may have an open sore, scrubs or blister. Stage three, the area has a characteristic like appearance due to damage below the skin surface. And stage four, the area is severely damaged and a large wound is present. So how about we ask our, let's say here, the professional Ms. Khuloud all about what are those ulcers, how do we prevent them, and how do, where do they come from? Before everything, let's say good morning to Ms. Khuloud and welcome to Good Morning Kuwait. Good morning, dear. I'm very happy to be with you again and again here on this nice show. Well, it is wonderful to have you here because we have a lot of questions, especially from the clinical side. So we were talking a little bit about the bed ulcers, Ms. Khuloud. Tell us more about it. A lot of people would be confused. I know that I was confused until we talked before the air. Okay, actually it's bed sore or bed ulcer uh, or bed pressure. All these uh, tell you that there is a uh, from prolonged pressure or uh, uh, squeezing the skin, especially for bony prominence mm -hmm. uh, for the uh, patients in between two services, uh, the very uh, tiny vessels will be like blocked. So that uh, there will be no nutrition and oxygen given to these kinds or parts of uh, skin. Okay. So which may to lead to damage. Uh -huh. Okay. So that is like something that you can easily prevent it. But if we ignore it and it will become complicated, it uh, have a lot of uh, serious complications. Sometimes we wake up, Ms. Khuloud, and we find a little mm. bit of, let's say, a, a black or a red or something upon our skins. Are these re related as well? See, uh, all over our nights, alhamdulillah, that we are as a healthy persons, we are just like moving. Okay. okay don't tell me that someone is uh, like sleeping eight hours without moving. Indeed. But the point is that here we are talking about the people who are like bedridden okay. or the uh, geriatric, uh -huh. you know, because their skin is very fragile, number one. Number two, th they should have certain, uh, l let's say, nursing care or one who is taking care of their skin. And their immunity is very low. low. Uh, they are, there is the, the fatty tissue is not there. So mm -hmm. easily they'll be like prevented and affected from this pressure ulcer. But for us as a normal people, actually no, it's not affected. So it's not, we are, we are okay from that yeah. side. So what's the reason or what's the causes of those ulcers? Okay. You just told us a little bit that it's because of the people they have low, uh, let's say, uh, stamina or the, uh, the body immune. But I think more is it there. Okay. See, if I'm telling you, like, for example, that there is uh, anyone who's like, it's uh, first of all, the definition for the pressure ulcer, it's like, localized injury that happened to uh, skin and uh, tissue surrounded uh, result from pressure mm -hmm. uh, especially for the bony prominence yeah. uh, which really uh, yani result as a bit source okay. and that could be uh, the severity as long as the pressure is there and it's not cured it's not identified uh, that will be the seriousness, as you mentioned, for the stages of the uh, bed sore. Okay. Okay. The, the, I, I, I was talking about immunity, but I mean even the nutrition, okay. nutritional fact. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the way that you are dealing with the patients. Sometimes the patient, he's got like, for example, urine incontinence. So Indeed. his diaper is all the time is like uh, wet. So mm -hmm. this is, a, again, uh, it will increase because, you know, the moisture will create these blisters and uh, it will make it worse okay. but at least alhamdulillah that we have a science uh, if, uh, if we know that there is high risk patients mm -hmm. number one and we know that there so we can identify 
from the, uh, the assessment that this patient is high risk. So we'll take care of doing the assessment for him. Number one, okay. he is not moving, so we need to change his position every two hours. Every two hours? Yes, if he is not moving. Okay. okay. We need to do inspection for his skin. Okay. We need to uh, provide, you know, like moisturing for his skin. Okay. okay. We need to take care of the nutrition. Maybe they are having like poor nutrition. We can like, you know, usually the doctors uh, or we can highlight the problem for the nutrition. They can provide for them usually the brush insure or any kind of. Okay. Uh, so, so this is the risk factor that we have limited mobility, the poor nutrition uh -huh. and poor health and circulation. Exactly. You know, sometimes for the diabetic patients, uh, okay. sometimes, you know, that's, uh, uh, they are not uh, having the sensation. Indeed. So whenever they have a problem, they will identify late and we don't know mm -hmm. because at least if someone who's got sensation he will complain from pain so we can identify the problem okay. but these people yani, uh, they will uh, they identify know. it late sometimes the mentally mentally things like you know, they don't recognize that there is certain thing okay F yes these are risk factors okay and uh, doctor I know that a lot of uh, families really uh, they have home uh, people they they are putting it at home uh, their children their uh, the elders let's say seniors but who are the ones you said the bed the the ones that always on their bed so is it at home or is it just in hospitals okay uh, unfortunately we identify this some people I'm not saying all of them but yeah. yani, uh, let me tell you like I don't have statistic but maybe 50 percent from the people who are admitted to the hospital especially like if they are getting poor uh, nursing care yes let's be frank with you okay so uh, the patients are getting out from the hospital with bed sore uh, I'm not okay. saying that severe one but at least they have blister or whatever okay first stages let's say first second stages yes okay uh -huh. so because the the patients when he was admitted to the hospital yeah. they were concentrating of the surgical surgery or they were concentrating of like high blood pressure or s whatever the problem that he's got and but no one is taking care that this patient is not moving from the bed okay and subhanallah for like we, we, i don't like to say like arab culture whenever someone is admitted to the hospital he will be sick in bed most of the people yes so they are not moving indeed so and by the way even it's not for the bed also yani some people when they are putting their geriatric or senior staff or whatever to the chair still there is bony prominence and there is high risk areas that we need to identify okay. so the outcome that no one can stay two hours uh, constantly without changing his position whether he is lying on the side or on the back or on the on the chair it's all high risk. Yeah, so, so changing positions, this is the most important thing. Yes. To avoid the, uh, let's say, bed ulcers and uh, all of that. Uh, how about the beds itself? Yeah. I know that a lot of families will buy a big bed and very expensive bed for their loved ones. But they would, at the same time, they would get the ulcers. Okay. Uh, uh, recently, I know. For your information, because we, we, do, yeah, we don't have these kinds of uh, information or uh, like, let's say, awareness. Yes. That we have two types of mattress. I know that all, all of them like war mat water mattress. Yes. So, and all of them for to prevent. But actually, no. If you are going to a shop, they can explain for you that this, uh, the one with like bubbles, like squares, this is to prevent the bed sore. Okay. The other one with cylinders that okay. if there is someone who's got bit sore and it will in decrease it to b from b being uh, uh, more so the first one is for prevention ah. the other one is for curing exactly so okay. here when you whenever anyone i'm, I'm keep on saying the same thing for anyone uh, god forbidden that he want to buy any medical equipment for a patient or his family or whatever he shouldn't like go like sorry as if he's going like doing shopping or because it's expensive or whatever or this uh, brand. Well, this is, this is no. what we get the idea, yeah. Ms. Hulwood. I know that wherever we go and we see this is more expensive. It has a lot of mechanics in it and uh, techniques. So we buy it because we love the ones that we, we have in our homes. I agree with you, but I'm sure 100 percent that because I, I saw some from these companies that there is uh, expert people there that they will explain for you they know at the end of the day yes. like the the you trust them as a company Indeed. so you see uh, this is the matters that i was telling so you about this is the so one with squares on it exactly so here there is no bit there is no bit sore okay. but he is high risk and i want to prevent the bit okay. sore okay here so these are the bubbles so 
they would really make uh, a prevention of exactly. the bed sores. Because the bony prominence will not be like on a hard surface. Okay. So that will prevent. But the other one with cylinders, okay, there is uh, a pressure ulcer, for example, in the sacral area, which is the most common one. Okay, okay? yes. And so like uh, that uh, cylinder will be uh, deflate and the other one will be inflate. So they will alternate like between exactly. one and another exactly so, so I, because you told me that you want to buy the best i agree with you yeah. but also there where there, there is a people who are specialist a specialist and they know that you will buy at the end of the day and y they want to gain your trust yes so they will tell you that in, in this case you'll buy this this case because you are a they want the, the best the force trust. so so if we were going to buy one of those, uh, let's say, beds for our loved ones or whoever is staying at home with us, we have to seek the consultants in the same shop to ask for what exactly. So we have to examine before we go, right? Uh, there is in certain showrooms, like in Kuwait, for example, I'm here, I'm, I told you that we will never mention any kind of companies. Yes. But in Kuwait, they have a contract with certain company, for example. Okay. So by default, the people who will go like and they are in need for this bed, they okay. will go from Subhan and they'll get the, the bed The C company, we will go to C exactly. company and see what they have. But then we are not here talking about bed, we are talking about the air mattress. Air yes. mattress is something like extra. Okay. okay. So here you will find it, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, many brands. Okay. So there, there should be. And I, I told you from the first time that I met you that there is certain companies that they have uh, the, the Ribni concept. The yes. Ribni mean that there is a number train for me so for Rebni means train me yeah, exactly exactly occupational therapist yeah. there he will explain for you each and everything related to the uh, device because he wants you to get 100 percent benefit from this mm -hmm. he don't want you just to buy it and that's it because mm -hmm. to maintain that's this is what i'm saying that after sale yes i need so you to get the best benefit out of this product well uh, miss khulud i know that this subject has a very vast questions and a vast areas to tackle, but we are out of time. Yeah. So any last word in just a few seconds? In a few seconds, I'm telling you that it starts from uh, maybe uh, the doctors are the best cardio surgeon doctor in the world, yeah. but when it comes to the bed sore, uh, there is certain courses or certain degrees for the advanced wound management. So here, you don't need to keep some, day, some people like doctor, will, not all of them for I'm yes. sure, will tell you keep the bed, uh, keep the wound open. Some people will tell you put phosphodine, certain like antibiotic ha okay. haphazardly. Mm -hmm. Some people will tell you the bridement. So here I will not go through the how to treat the bed sources because this is mainly medical, yes. but at least seek the one who is a professional to treat the bed sources because it can result on a prolonged stay, okay. increase the days of staying in hospital, and by the way, it can lead for septicemia and death. Okay. I'm sorry so to say <laughs> this, but this is fact. Okay. I mean, the patient can die from septicemia. From, from sep because of that. Exactly. So prevention is the best thing as well as take care of your loved ones, dear viewers, because if you check them, if you make them mobile, if you make them move from here and there, this is the best prevention. It's just a step away instead of paying all of those extra mon uh, money. Thank you very much, Ms. Khulud, for being here and giving us all up to date with the latest uh, clinical advices. And uh, dear viewers, how about now we get a quick break, then continue Good Morning Kuwait with more segments and more reports. <laughs>